The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, the Junior Novelization. Chapter 1. In the clear sparkling waters of the southern Pacific Ocean lies Bikini Atoll. Atoll, you ask? What in the deep blue sea is an atoll? An atoll is a ring of islands formed by coral. In the case of Bikini Atoll, 23 beautiful little islands surround a shallow lagoon. But our story doesn't take place on any of those 23 islands. Instead, our tale unfolds deep below on the surface of the water in a wonderful undersea town called Bikini Bottom. The hero of our saga is SpongeBob SquarePants, a poor four-cornered fellow who never met a stranger who didn't soon become a friend. And friends are what the story's all about. Let's begin at the very beginning. Many years ago, when SpongeBob was just a young sponge, his parents drove him to Camp Coral, a delightful summer camp where young ocean dwellers could do all sorts of fun things. Dive off docks, paddle canoes, and sing songs around a campfire. Yes, underwater. Don't ask how they built campfires underwater. They just did. The camp was run by friendly counselors who wore sweatshirts and whistles around their necks. Most of the counselors have been happy little campers at Camp Core when they were little, and they liked it so much they were turned to work there when they were too big to be campers themselves. SpongeBob's parents pulled their boat car in front of the camp entrance, where a sign read Camp Coral. Excited, SpongeBob jumped out. Woo! He whooped. No way! Look at all the cool activities! Camping, canoeing, seahorseback riding, tug of war, whale watching. A large whale sipping coffee looked up from his newspaper at the little sponge with the big eyes staring at him. Do you mind? The whale asked, raising the newspaper in front of his face. Unfaced, SpongeBob kept listing the cool activities. Oyster hopping, juggling, and even shrink wrap soccer! He was vibrating with excitement and enthusiasm. SpongeBob's dad watched his son bounce in place and smiled, remembering his own days at the camp. Good old Camp Coral, he mused. If you're lucky, son, you'll come home with two of life's greatest gifts, friends and memories. And every German the seven seas, SpongeBob's mom added nervously, handing her son his suitcase and toiletry bag. She hadn't gone to camp when she was little, and she'd heard camps weren't always perfectly clean. Don't forget to take your vitamins, brush your teeth, and change your underpants. Okay, Mom, SpongeBob promised. I won't. She handed him a big drawer of vitamins and a toothbrush designed specially for his two front teeth. And don't forget to flush your pores, dear. SpongeBob's mom took out a set of bellows and poked one end into a hole on the side of his head. She squeezed the handles together and water shot out of his other holes. Foosh! Okay, Mom, he said, taking the bellows from her. I won't! Bye, Mom and Dad! Mrs. Squarepants felt a little teary as she watched her son run into the camp with his luggage. Mr. Squarepants got a lump in his throat. They squeezed hands. Their baby boy was growing up, spending time away from home. But little SpongeBob didn't feel sad at all. He was totally excited to be at summer camp. He couldn't wait to paddle a canoe, to play tug of war, to try his hand at oyster hopping. Mostly, he was excited about making new friends. SpongeBob didn't waste any time. He ran right up to a boy fish. Hi, I'm SpongeBob! Before the boy fish could even answer, SpongeBob dashed over to a girl fish. Hello, my name is SpongeBob! He sprinted up to another camper. Howdy, I'm SpongeBob! He spotted a nearby counselor. Nice to meet you, he said. My name is SpongeBob! By the lake, he hurried over to the members of the Camp Coral rowing team and introduced himself to every single rower. Hi, I'm SpongeBob! Hi, I'm SpongeBob! Hi, I'm SpongeBob! He gave each of them a friendly wave as he moved down the line. While the young sponge was busy trying to meet every person at summer camp, a big, expensive boat car pulled up to Camp Coral's entrance. A serious-looking youngster named Squidward got out with his sleep bags. He closed the door, locked, looked up, and said, Bye, Mom! Squidward's mother was in the driver's seat, talking on her shell phone. Uh-huh, she said. Uh-huh. Oh, one second. She looked toward her son. Have fun at school, dear. Summer camp, Mom, Squidward corrected her. Sp Squidward's mom kept talking. 
Your father would have loved to see you off, but he's, um, busy. The person on the phone must have thought she was addressing them because she added, Oh no, I'm talking to someone else. Without giving her son a hug or a kiss, she roared away in the big boat car still talking on her phone. Squidward sighed and carried his luggage into Camp Coral. SpongeBob was already deep into the camp, still introducing himself to people. Hi, I'm SpongeBob! Hi, I'm SpongeBob! Hi, I'm SpongeBob! Then he heard something he hadn't expected to hear at such a happy place as good old Camp Coral. Could it possibly be someone crying? Stay tuned for Chapter 2 coming up soon.